you wake up. You walk into the bathroom. You're wondering what's happened to your mate. Your best mate. What's changed? You ain't seen him in days. You look in the mirror and wonder what's happened to your face. What's changed? You ain't shaved in days. Another line in your forehead appears. The gears in your imagination begin to grind. The light in your mind flickers and the film reels begin to rotate. Q montage. Coldplay plays. Your mate and his girl, arm and arm walks in the park kicking up leaves. Feeding ducks in the pond. Trips to the sea. Trips to art galleries. Joint shopping trips to Gap and H&M. His and hers. Hers and his. Sharing friends over drinks. Mates and our friends. Friends and our ours. Ours ain't his. Ours ain't you. Dinner parties. Dinner parties using recipes taken from celebrity chefs. Expensive A4 hardback conveniently rests on the clinically clean kitchen surface. Strategically placed to make it look like it wasn't placed to imply taste. Sunday afternoons in gastro pubs or in Starbucks, drinking from huge coffee mugs held with two hands, then taking selfies. Cheesy trinkets and cutlery, amalgamating diaries, middle ground CDs, middle ground DVDs, middle ground being, feeling like carpet under your feet, hiding the cold, hard, damp, scarred floorboards underneath where skeletons of single ex-friends lie recluse. For choosing to refuse to wear shoes in place of trainers in order to gain entry into cheesy venues, continuing to smoke weed, consume lager, watch football and smash kebabs, still listening to hip-hop and underground dance music, still rebelling against chart music, still laughing when farting, still openly honest about poor news, still treading water in an ocean of self-loathing where the only humane feeling that remains is the pain from getting salt in the wounds, still complaining about the day-to-day -day pursuit of pay and feeling unfulfilled, that grates like an itch you can never quite reach between the shoulder blades, lacking the kind of companion that will scratch it and relieve it, then embrace you for all your insecurities, idiosyncrasies and imperfections and tell you that it will all be okay, chuckling in your ear, stroking your hair, kissing you on the cheek then walking away, leaving her sweet perfume in the airspace as you look in the mirror, see your face, think of her and think shit, life's alright. Instead you see your face, your muggy, unshaven face, and you think of your mate, and you hope the prick is happy.